Well, it's a long story. I don't know how to put it in just a few sentences. When I first walked in, I did, firstly, let me tell you, I did not go there to reform them. I had no agenda, I had no plans, nothing. I went as a guest on the International Women's Day and um, the girls were there. They wanted to learn dance. But when I saw the boys later, I said yes, of course, because I wanted to know about their life inside, like everybody is curious, I so was I. When I saw the boys walking around aimlessly, I felt sorry for their mothers. No child, as I said, is born a criminal. And uh, I, I just wanted to teach them too, because I know that dance can actually make you come out of a lot of, I would say, sadness. And I wanted to, that's what I had experienced, and I wanted to share that experience with them. And I instinctively asked if I could teach the boys as well. Well, everybody is scared of the boys. Nobody wants to go into the boys' prison. Uh, I'm often asked even today, after almost 18 years, that whether I feel scared or not. Believe me, I'm more safe inside than outside. I have 2,500, almost close to 3,000 boys who protect me. Will I get that kind of protection outside? No. <laughs> well, the journey, I, the first time I went was as a guest. But the first sense of transformation, which I felt, they felt, was when they performed for the first time in public. And they were given a standing ovation. People thought, oh, well, you know, let's, let's go and want the prisoners perform. It was more out of curiosity. But when they put up a professional show, mind you, Valmiki Pratibha was not the first production. I did one on folk and martial dances of India. And when I saw how, how they felt after being applauded, uh, because they are, they're always despised, they're hated by people. Hated is the word. Uh, so they felt like artists that day. And that's what made them into what they are today. And this kind of rippled through. The ones who were there initially, they're all, they're all released. I keep having, it's like a Broadway show, as I say. The, cam the people change, but the production remains. And yes, of course, that's when I thought of doing Balbiki Pratipa because I saw the transformation from, I mean, from within me. All my Ratna cores became Valmikis. And today when I look back, it's with so much satisfaction and pride that the people who were considered almost untouchable are now a different human being and they are accepted by the society to a large extent. It's the beginning and I'm sure things will look even brighter later.